T-minus four, three, two, one. The following is a 24 hours podcast. Uh, if the Giants are to win this game, they need to keep it close in the first quarter and just have the sense that they belong in the same field as the Patriots. I know they had to uh, certainly could derive that sense from the last game of the regular season uh, when they led by, what was it, 11 points, I guess, in the third quarter against New England in the final week of the regular season. But uh, I just think that's four weeks ago. And I, and I just think this is the ultimate stage. The Patriots obviously have an aura of an invincibility about them. If new for New England to to win the and and then to do that to to be in the game, uh, their running game is absolutely crucial. And obviously Eli Manning has to continue his mistake free football. But the beauty of the running game uh, is is keeping the hands uh, ball out of the hands of Tom Brady, chewing up some clock. And if you can keep it out of the hands of Brady and give them less time to work with, obviously that's uh, a huge advantage. So the running game and the first quarter lead. Uh, or being in the game after a quarter, crucial for the Giants to have success. Uh, New England is playing against themselves, and you never had the sense, even though the games were relatively close, you never really had the sense that they were in danger in either either playoff game. Um, bottom line, New England wasn't very good and still won handily, and I just see no reason why New England at sort of three quarters or, or 80% isn't going to be way too much for the Giants to handle. New England's going to win this game. I think it's going to be relatively low scoring, and I think it's going to sort of be reasonably close on the scoreboard, but just have that never really in doubt feeling on the Patriots' side. I'm going to say 27 to 10, much the way the Cowboys beat the Broncos back in 1978. I think what the Giants need to do to win is go out there and uh, make the big plays that they've been making the last few weeks, uh, throw it up to Plaxico Burris, run the ball like they've been running it, and, uh, and I think if they can contain the running game uh, of New England, they're, uh, they're going to go out there and win the game. Uh, I think New England, they need to run the ball very well. You know, the Giants are good at stopping the run, so I think if they can get the running game going, uh, they'll be effective. And uh, I think important for them is to play some defense because the Giants are a big play team, and if they can play defense, they uh, they got a good shot to win. Um, but my prediction is the Giants. I think, <clears throat> I think they are the uh, hottest team going into the playoffs, and... Um, they're on a roll. They've been winning on the road. I know the Patriots haven't lost yet, but uh, I really like the Giants to win this game. I think it's going to be a close game, probably uh, 27-24 for the Giants. And like I said, the Giants are going to make some big plays, and they are going to win this game. So New England needs to stop the Giants' run, make them fully one-dimensional, put the game on Eli Manning's uh, arm and in his head, uh, and really just try to lock down the uh, – the New York Giants receivers, although they've been great possession receivers. It'll be interesting to see if Eli Manning can read Belichick's uh, pass defense. Uh, in order for the Giants to win, Giants have to get uh, major pressure on Tom Brady and go man to man and go man to man on the uh, on the Patriots receivers and just hope for the best. In this game, I like I, I would love to see Junior say I'll get a ring, but I really think. The Giants have that sort of this ability to win one more on the road, but I'm gonna go with Junior Say. I like to see the old guy get a Super Bowl ring. I'm looking at a close game, five points. No, check that, twelve points. In my opinion, the Giants need to be able to uh, run the football effectively, play solid defense, um, and like everyone says, get pressure on Tom Brady. Um, as far as the Patriots winning. They just need to do what they always do and, and spread the ball around to all their different weapons. Um, guys like Wes Welker, Randy Moss, get the ball out to Kevin Falk on third down conversions and um, you know play good enough defense just to keep their offense on the field uh, scoring points. Um, of course, I can't go against the Pats. I'm going to pick the Pats uh, by 10 points. Gus McTavish here, live from Glendale, Arizona. <laughs> Glendale. We couldn't put this in Scottsdale where I could get some proper golf in. But Christ sakes. Anyway, I'm hoping the weather's good in Vancouver. I heard it was. So uh, you're running around in your t-shirts and shorts, I hear. That's good to hear. Uh, about the game, 
I don't think Belichick's going to be denied. I think that bugger is about as sharp as they come. Uh, they're going to neutralize that giant running game. Uh, both teams in the championship game, you'll notice, they threw the ball and established a run in the second half. I think you're going to see much of the same. I think the only chance the Giants have is to reenact their game plan from the championship game uh, against the Packers, and that's throw the ball. That's about three out of every four downs. But then you're throwing it into that teeth of a good ball-hawking defense, and I think that's where Peyton, Peyton Manning's wee brother is going to have a wee uh, problem. Uh, as for the Patriots and uh, that uh, handsome beast Tom Brady, I see them throwing the ball 13, 14 times out of 20. And then, once they get the lead, I think you'll see Lawrence Maroney run like a bugger in the second half. Uh, probably put up 100 yards himself just in that half. Uh, I don't think it's going to come down to a, a field goal. I think the Patriots run away with this one, and uh, Coast and Manning keeps forcing the ball in. Three turnovers for Manning, and above the Patriots by 13. Giants need to repeat the intensity of their regular season finale, but this time keep the lead. Patriots must protect Tom Brady's ankle from Giants defenders because they want to do the twist, and I'm not talking about the chubby checker dance. My prediction, a giant upset. New York by one.